Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. What I'm going to do today is something a little bit different to what I normally do. Rather than showing a job in detail, I'm going to go around and film a little bit at each of my jobs. I've got about four jobs today. So rather than doing one in detail, I'm going to take you around and show you little bits of jobs briefly. What I do to give you an idea of what I do throughout the day. So I've got my job sheets here. So everything's on there, so I'll take them, head on up there and I'll see you at the first job. Right, so here we are, job number one. We've got this letterbox here, it's leaking water in. It's one number five. Um, I had the same problem over the road there, and it was actually the letterboxes were all leaning back, so the water was tracking in, so I just eased them over. These, I've had a spirit level on, these are actually leaning forward, so it's not that. If you look along there, we've got a seal. There's some sort of like brush seal that doesn't look too good. If we look inside, you can see the, the guys put had to put that in to keep it dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm either going to try and get some sort of seal to go on there, failing that, I'll just build like a little plinth type of thing that drops inside so it'll keep his mail off there and then obviously the water will run out. So we'll get cracked on with that and see what we come up with. Okay, what we've done with this, first of all we tried some of this weather strip seal on the bottom of this door here, but we found that when it closed, it pushed the door open, we couldn't get it open again. So we've stuck a bit, I don't know if you can have a look in there with the camera, I don't know if you'll see it along there just almost like a, a lip if you like um let me see here yep. so we put it in there so obviously if water tracks in it should keep it to the front and just trickle down but as another precautionary measure we've made this little bit of a false floor just a little bit of plastic we're going to fit that inside like that and that will keep it raised off about eight millimeter anyway so if water does get past that Hopefully all the mail will stay dry, so we'll put a couple of blobs of silicone on just to hold it in place and that's that one hopefully done. So there's the final job done if you have a look, we just stuck that in, that obviously gives it a little bit of clearance off there. It all closes and oh, there's a the silicone gun gone, it all closes and shuts and works as it should, so hopefully that's that one done, will keep his post dry. Right, also while we're here, we always test these emergency lights, put them all up the stairs there, so we just do a quick what we call a flick test. Just literally isolate the power, like that. Right, go on and Jack run up, so Jack will run up the stairs now and just check that they all will walk when he's not feeling energetic. Up the stairs, check they're all powered on, and then uh, once we're happy with that, we'll just power, it, power them back up. Right, oop, now you just put that door through one of them doors. Uh, Jack's been up, checked they're all on. There's one slightly dim that's not an LED fitting, but it's okay, so now we're just gonna power back up. And that's that done. Just got another seven blocks, so we'll just whip around and check them while we're here, then we'll be moving on to the next job. So here we are, job two of the day. This intercom here, totally dead. So we'll check that out and see what's going on. Right, that's that one resolved. Oh, all it was. Well, we checked the breakers obviously first, and there's a switch fuse spur for it. We checked there was power coming to this power supply. Um, and I noticed this here is a little fuse carrier that had actually been popped out slightly. I don't know why somebody's obviously interfered. Click that back in, and we, we have power across there. Um, yeah, that's it. Just tested it from the outside. Job done. So, a nice quick five, ten minute job. All done. So, now we're on to job three. Actually, before we move on to job three, again, we're going to do the emergency light test here. Dead simple. Isolate the power, and we can just look straight up the stairs. We can see all the emergency bulkheads. That's that one done. So again, we've got another seven blocks to do, but it's going to be a quick five, ten minutes. Then on to job three. Third job of the day is gate. We've obviously seen better days. We can see the hinges snapped off. So we'll whip them off, whether or not we're going to put new ones on. I think so, if we can get all of them. So we'll get those whipped off and we'll pop out and get some hinges. Right, that's this one done. We nipped down to the till station, got some hinges put on. It's slightly bigger. There's not much to fix till there, to be fair. A lot of the wood's broke and we've had to put a couple of masonry fixings in them. Torx type, real long ones, about six inch, just to hit some solid wood. But they're on. That's, uh, that's done for now. It's not going to be swinging in there wind so Jack just tied in the gear up there and then we're going to go in and do a emergency light test as always I'm not bother filming that because it's exactly the same as the other two 
So that's job number three done. Oh, yes. <laughs> here we are, job number four. It's down pipe here, you can see it there on the on the floor. Just got to reattach that. Nice simple job. Here's the old down pipe there, you can see it's got a no, we'll put new screws in. There's the old down pipe. No, I've got some of the rusty need to whip that out there. See that screw there? Uh -huh. That's holding that bracket, just whip that out. And what we'll do, here you got all that, Jack? Yeah, what we'll actually do with this, I think, if you look there, there's only the one bracket on. And the next one's up there above the joint. I think we'll fit an additional bracket here just for a bit of extra support. That's this one done. We've put the down pipe back on. I've put that additional clip on there just to give it a bit extra support. New clip on the bottom and then a little self tap and screw in like what I had in before just to stop the downpipe from dropping down into the drain because there's no gully grid or anything on there. So that's it done, job number four done. Need to pop in there and do the emergency light test as with the others, but then that's just all done. <laughs> right, so that's them four jobs done. The last thing to do now, I've just got to pop into B&Q. There we are there, that's B&Q. I'm going to pop in there, get a few bits and bobs and then that's just done for the day. So as always, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and smash the thumbs up or whatever it is or have the likey and ring the bell or whatever you do. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks very much.